Chapter 5 The northern suburbs of Hohot City, sloping down from the Inchon Mountains. On that wasteland, there was a Zhao temple that was burned down by the fire of thunder and lightning. Among the ruined walls of the Zhao temple, there stands a graceful girl. Figure A huge aliosphere is sinking behind the ruins of Zhao temple. Looking from a distance, the ruins of Zhao temple and the girls. The figure is like a relief carved between the dark red aliospheres. The girl's long eyes like a colorful phoenix are filled with a blank look. Look, moving slowly among the ruins overgrown with wormwood and saponica. Move your feet, as if you are looking for some long-lost memory. This is a person who is unforgettable in a moment's gaze. Pregnant Beauty Her beautiful neck presents a white peony in full bloom. The color of the skin, on the handsome outline of the face, there is a gorgeously soft. Love, the gentle charm that only southern women have, seems to be able to. Make the purple storm calm in an instant. However, the girl. The slightly raised lips of the blazing mood turned wildly red. As if I had just indulged in kissing the sunset burning in the grass, and... Her thick long hair is so charmingly black that it seems that only the golden thunder. Electricity and silver blizzards are worthy of touch. At this time, she walked blankly. Walking among the ruins of Zhao Temple shows that a heart made of iron and stone will do it. Weeping desolate solitude, like a red-scaled boa constrictor or a male. Lions and tigers follow her coquettish and beautiful body, the loneliness. The mood of the poem will turn into a poetic flavor as far away as the turbulent grass waves. Girl in a giant Vidra statue that hasn't collapsed yet. He stopped before, raised his face, and stared at the head of King Kong God. That gold. Gangshan showed his giant beast-like teeth in his ferocious and terrifying smile. The heavy nose was like an eagle's beak carved in bronze, protruding. Eyes that stare fiercely, as if from a cloud, full of chaotic lust and... A world was full of misery. The girl stared into the eyes of Vidra God for a long time, as if... Learn something from that hard gaze carved in rock, however. She finally sighed in disappointment and continued to work in the dilapidated Jiaomiao. Go forward in the courtyard. When a girl walks around a completely collapsed hall. At that time, the steeple of a pagoda appeared behind the broken wall of the main hall. Her purpose. The light immediately became shimmering, and at this moment, her long eyes. The eyes are like the light blue snow water river that has just melted on the plateau. Flow. The girl ran forward eagerly as if rushing towards a lover in love. Like a human, he quickly crossed the ruins of the hall. However, she quickly. But the footsteps stopped in front of a pagoda in a daze. That building. The pagoda stands somewhat obliquely in the wild grass on the white pagoda body. Covered with gray-black stains, like a stained pale. Love affair. No, this is not the stupa of the dream. The stupa of the dream is. White, as pure as a dove's feathers. The girl blankly. Talking to herself, the turbulent light waves in her eyes disappeared into confused eyes again. In love. This girl is called by Hong Shue. Six years ago, when she was seventeen. He returned to mainland China from Indonesia with his adoptive father. Now she. I came to Inner Mongolia to pursue a dream of a girlhood. Plateau. By Hong Shue grew up on Curry Island in Indonesia. Of. At the age of 13, even though she had never left Qiandao. Country, the Mongolian plateau in the northern part of the earth is like another country in her mind. As strange as a distant planet. However, late one night, she. But in the dreamland, she was in the wasteland of the northern country in late autumn. A person walks in the silent wilderness where wild flowers sway, the gray-blue wind. A desolate and mournful song is sent from the sky filled with purple mist. She. I feel that the singing voice is crimson, like the color of dried blood. She followed the song up the high, cracked rocks. Steep shore. A white and beautiful pagoda appeared beside the cliff, like a 
The battle helmet of the ancient Mongolian warrior is made of silver, under the cliff is a broad blue and white rapids, far away, the purple sunset is bathing, bathed in silvery waves. Then she saw a golden male. The leopard squatted on the huge aliosphere, and the male leopard stared sharply at her. In the cold eyes, it was like a cold flame burning. She feels a sudden, excruciating pain, the bronzed. Her gaze burned a radiance with the charm of fire in her heart. Scars. When by home she well let out a shrill scream and woke up from that dream. When she found her nanny, a plump old Indian woman. Man was sitting on the edge of the bed touching her shoulder and heard the old woman. The gentle voice of the sea breeze, you must have dreamed something. Well, tell me about it. The dream speaks out and the soul can be at peace. Rather, I dreamed of a wilderness in the north. I never. Have you ever been to the north? By home she was voice trembled slightly, pain. Said bitterly and perplexed. Oh, that's where your soul goes, and your body goes. In this bed, however, you have gone to the northern wilderness. That. What's gone, it's your soul. You know, the soul it's. Reality is more real than flesh. The old Indian woman sighed lowly. Once, there was a quiet sadness in that sigh. From the open. In the moonlight coming in from the window, the gray hair of the old woman was like a strand of. A strand of silver thread makes the old lady look mysterious and beautiful. Silence. After a while, the old woman began to speak softly again by Hong Shue. I feel the distant and hazy beauty floating in the voice of the old woman. Feel. I was born in a small village under the snow-capped Himalayas. Inside. I was also very beautiful when I was a girl, but my father said that I was like falling on a snow mountain. On the morning below, many lads use hot eyes and deep. The lingering song expresses my love for me. At first, I thought, the eyes and singing voices of those boys are very moving, seeing those eyes. Light, hearing those songs, my heart blooms like a mandala flower. Let it go. Later, I had a dream. At that time, I also. I have never seen the sea, but I dreamed of the waves of a sea. Tao, there is nothing on that wave, only a floating statue of a Buddhist temple. Golden dome, yes, nothing but a golden crown. It looks like a Buddhist temple floating on the blue waves. Since then, nothing. It doesn't interest me anymore. I think lads are hot. Love's eyes stare at me like the black holes of skulls, they're singing. It became as gray as the fog after the sun goes down. I sit all day. Under the Bodhi tree, looking at the sky. When blue clouds are like waves. When rising from the sky, I pray that gold will emerge from the sea of clouds. A temple is like a crown. One day, I didn't tell anyone, since. He secretly ran to Chittagong and boarded a ship. Ship in flat. After traveling on the quiet sea for many days, one evening, I came to. On the deck, I saw the golden dome of a Buddhist temple appearing in the sky, and I. Seen in a dream, like a golden crown floating in blue. On the colored waves. Then, Curry Island also appeared on the sea. So, I disembarked from the boat here, and have lived till now. Several. Ten years have passed, my face is no longer pretty, and my hair has turned white. However, my soul has not changed. After doing things every day, I touch that dream with my soul. Oh, you know, dreams can't. To touch with hands can only be touched with soul. That can be touched with the soul. It is real, it will never disappear, it can only be touched by hand. Everything will disappear over time, the physical body. Both the world and the world are illusory, only that dream is real. I just wait. On the day when this earthly journey is over, let my soul be one. A crimson sunset glow fell on the crown-like golden dome of the Buddhist temple. Superior. The voice of the old woman was gradually lowered by the ebb of the waves. 
The sigh was erased, but by Hong Shiyue's heart was covered by the sigh of the sea. To the far northern wilderness, she had never been before. In the evening of the next day, the figure of Bai Hongshue appeared on the cliff of Curry Island. On the cliff-like coast, looking north for a long time. Behind her, the golden dome of the Buddhist temple became dim in the gradually drifting sunset, and she, his body turned into a dark green silhouette in the twilight, while Bai Hongshue, still standing motionless on the steep shore, looking at the, the same crystal snowflake in the dark blue sky of the north, Pole star. From then on, day after day, Bai Hongshue will be at dusk. Appeared on the cliff by the coast, staring at the north in ecstasy, silently. Silently caressing that dream with her soul, kissing the golden male leopard. The bronze-colored flame-like gaze burns the gorgeous beauty in the bottom of her heart. Scars. However, to her extreme distress, she could not. Can't remember the desolate and sad melody of the singing voice in the dream. I don't know when a young man from the south began to accompany. White and red snow, walking up the steep coast at dusk. That young man. His skin was dark, and his big, affectionate eyes were as deep as the sea. He. Playing the guitar, always with a soft, sad chest voice, singing a song. Indonesian folk song, Oh Beautiful Girl, Your Heart is a Stone. Head. Even a stone, I will burn it with the flame of love. Red. Finally one day, amidst the boy singing, by home she wed gently. Kissed him on the lips, but she raised her face quickly again. Allow. Oh, why is the flame so gentle? By home she wed asked. Thinking in disappointment, I couldn't help but let out a low moan of pain, hiding. Opened the undulating and turbulent eyes of the dark blue ocean waves of the boy from the southern country. Light, she didn't want him to see the tired look on her face. In the autumn of the year, before Bai Hongshue returned to mainland China, it was also a... One evening, she was pleasantly surprised to find a bird flying from the northern sky. Geese. The gray-blue wild goose with its long hair dyed dark purple by the sunset. Wings, as if flowing heavy blood, incited heavily and slowly, hovering above her head. At that moment, Bai Hongshue suddenly realized. I vividly remembered the desolate and pathetic melody of the singing voice in the dream, and... Immediately cold tears flowed like silver torrents from her long eyes. My eyes welled up. The gray-blue goose is circling on the edge of the cliff on the coast. After spinning for a while, it flew to the northwest again. By home she went, looked sadly at. The long wings of wild geese seemed to be bleeding, disappearing into the broken sunset in the sky. And the melody of that song is like the wind that can't hold back in her heart. Drifted away. By Hong Shiwe's adoptive father is a rich overseas Chinese in the Indonesia. Business. After learning that he had cancer, he decided to return to Shaman. Go, because that is his hometown. Shortly after making this decision, he tell Bai Hong Shiwe that he is not her biological father, she is a foundling. Sixteen years ago, this wealthy overseas Chinese businessman lived on the coast of Curry Island. An abandoned baby girl is found on a cliff. At that time, an orphan. A lone wild goose flapped its gray-blue long legs heavily above the baby girl. Wings hovering low, so he named the baby girl by. Snow, because wild geese belong to the wilderness birds of the Northland. When I saw her, the blood-red sunset was falling on the cliffs on the coast, so. Yes, he finally confirmed that her name was by Hongshue. The adoptive father repeatedly dissuaded by Hongshue from going to the University of China with him. Lu went, he said, now, you can only go back when you die. Place, I go back to die where I was born, and you want. Live a long, long time. However, by Hongshue is still stubborn. With her adoptive father, she felt that as long as she returned to mainland China, she would have. Opportunity to go to the far north to find the girl's dream, to find. Find the desolate and sad singing in the dream. At dusk. 
In the film, Bai Hongxue left the place where she grew up by boat with her adoptive father. Square. Standing on the rear deck, she watched for a long time the. It became the figure of the southern boy on the dark red coast and cliff. Until the golden crown-like golden roof of the Buddhist temple exposed behind the cliff sank. Into the deep blue waves, she seems to be able to hear the boy's affectionate song. Your heart is a stone, I will also burn her with the flame of love. Red. But thy flame is tender, too tender. I can't burn my dream to ashes. By home she would have thought sadly. She suddenly felt that Curry Island and the boy from the southern country suddenly became different. It was so strange, so strange that it seemed to be another kind of life that had nothing to do with her. Existence and luck. After returning to Shaman, she soon felt that her adoptive father was right. That is the place to go back to when you die. In the Communist Party. Under the squeeze of the cold political concepts of the same dry and boring. On the street, the style of wearing is almost the same. People in blue or gray uniforms walk hunched over, making white. Hong Shiu have felt unspeakably sad. She felt that the crowd seemed to be a prisoner walking on a steep ridge with a gloomy face. In the second year after returning to the mainland, Bai Hong Shiwe was admitted to the Central Ethnology Department. Academy of Music Department came to Beijing. After entering the academy, her mood. It became more depressing. Those party members and cadres among the students in the department seemed to be always peeping at her like the light in a snake's eye. The gloominess made her terrified. Before long, she understood that it was. Because according to Marx's class struggle theory, her adoptive father belongs to the evil bourgeoisie, and she is the class enemy of the Communist Party. People daughter. She was particularly distressed that she could not even find comfort in music. Because only in the most disgusting way. The only music that flatters the Communist Party can gain the right to survive. Profit. Even many natural flavors originally produced in the wilderness. The melody of the love song, after being adapted by official musicians, was also annotated. Into the meaning of touting Mao Zedong and Communist Party politics. By Hong Shiu Fields. Well, here, art is a lot like hovering at the door of a fancy hotel in Manila. Whore, with a vulgar, vulgar, materialistic vulva between her legs but to show noble and pure passion on the face. By home she web began to recall often off the steep coast of Curry Island. The deep and undulating blue waves remind me of the affectionate young man in the southern country. Singing. Only now did she realize that the singing voice of the boy from the southern country. Although it is not hot enough, it has a real human charm. Same. At that time, when the only philosophical truth confirmed by the Communist Party with its ruthless power, reason in the heavy shadow of materialistic rationality by Hong Shiu had discovered, her spirit seemed to be withering gradually, and she felt that she was chasing. It is absurd and absurd to seek the girl's dream and come to the mainland. Stupid things, here is a world of physical stones. The world leaves no room for the existence of the soul. One evening in the early autumn of last year, Bai Hong Shiwe was at school alone. Take a walk on the Courtyard Avenue. The straight and tall poplar trees are golden yellow beside the road. The colorful leaves are blown by the cold autumn wind and make a rustling sound. The sound seemed to draw golden streaks in her depressed mood. Colored scars. As she passed downstairs in a boy's dormitory, she heard. From an open window on the second floor came a man's deep song. Voice, the big swan goose flying from the south, if you don't reach the Ergun River. Landed, Gadamarin of the rebellion, the blood rained, for. Over the grasslands of Mongolia. By home she was stopped involuntarily, she felt that the desolate and sad. Sad singing is like a distant and mighty wind, blowing away her lead. Gray cloudy mood, and the color of her girlhood. Rich dreams, the silent wasteland, the cracked rocks, the steep shore, the white and beautiful pagoda, the silver torrent, the 
The crimson aliosphere bathed in the waves, all at once emerged from the gray cloud, blindly emerging from cracks in the clouds. By home she was long, beautiful eyes. The rich and gorgeous tear shadows suddenly swayed in the middle of the sky, as if in the silver. The crimson sunset glows on the waves. She unmistakably identified. It turns out that the singing she hears at this moment is the song that floated in the dream of her girlhood. The melody of the swaying golden male leopard. By home she wear rushed into the boys' dormitory building recklessly. On the second floor, I stopped in front of the door of the dormitory where the singing sound came from. Trying to suppress the excitement, then, with trembling arms, pushed. Opened the door. In the narrow dormitory, a burly young man stood in the open. In front of the open window. Hearing the sound of the door, he stopped singing and asked. A solid head turned by the door. His broad countenance was rough. Look frank. He didn't speak, just looked at by Hong quietly. Snow. Are you singing? By Hong Shue asked unnecessarily. A flush of embarrassment welled up her cheeks. She suddenly felt that. It is impolite to break into a stranger's room without knocking. Of. So, she explained again in a panic, I like it very much. The song you sang. The young man silently stared at Bai Hong Shiwe for a moment, then briefly. Said, this is the song of Gadamarin, a folk song in my hometown. Song. After speaking, he turned his face to the window again. Liao Yuan. The desolate singing voice floats in the deep and vigorous bass of the young man again. Stand up. By home she was sat down on a chair by herself, listening silently. That singing. Her slightly bowed figure makes people feel that she seems to be. Looking at the scarred and long lost love with excitement and pain. People seem to use trembling red lips to kiss love infinitely tenderly. Bone wounds were exposed to the human body. Later, by home she would have found out that this young man was in the same grade as her. A student of the Department of Fine Arts, named A.M.U. Galen, his father was from Inner Mongolia. An ancient general. By home she would have fell in love with A.M.U. Galen soon. Yes, even though she didn't like his eyes. She thinks that Amugu. The melancholy in the staring eyes are too heavy, too real, as real as if. A dry mist that you can touch with your hand. By Hong Shue is the first. The first discovery, true, is not necessarily beautiful. However, she still loves. On the amuguling. This may be because, when singing, the melancholy in his eyes would turn so. As blazing as a cloud ignited by the fire of thunder and lightning. In the late autumn of last year, by Hong Shue's grades began to graduate. Creative process. Most of the students in the music department will finish the course within two months. It became the first draft of graduation work, but by Hong Shiwe still didn't write it once. I walked into the piano room. She felt tormented that the musical inspiration was like. Like the trees in late autumn, the luxuriant leaves have already withered and withered. There are only bare branches stretching out to the cold sky. When? Of course, write a music score at random, and then randomly mark it to indicate that it is correct. It is very easy for the headlines of Communist Party politics to flatter. Almost all of my classmates did the same. However, by Hong Shue. But I don't want to do that kind of thing. I would rather not get a diploma because of it. I don't want to either. She felt that if she did that, her soul will get dirty. In the last days of that autumn, once AMU, Gu Lang accompanies Bai Hongxue to watch the red leaves in the northwestern suburbs of Beijing. They board. On the Great Wall winding on the steep ridge of the Inchon Mountains. Inside the Great Wall. It is the blood-stained red leaves and brilliant yellow leaves all over the mountains and fields outside the Great Wall. It is a group of rocky peaks. By home she was stands on the collapsed criminal of the Great Wall. Besides, facing the gray-blue gust, looking to the north. In the sky. 
In the vast sea of clouds, the bronze color of the Inner Mongolia Plateau faintly emerged. Outline At this time, A.M. Ugolin was behind her and sang Jie. The song of Damerlin and the mighty homesickness floats in the singing. Affection by Hong Shiyue's heart was suddenly filled with tears, and the inspiration for the music came. Like the red leaves falling all over the sky, dancing wildly in the melody of the singing, she. He exclaimed excitedly in a low voice, Oh, it's God our Merlin. Song O. Oh. After returning to the academy that night, by Hong Shiyue shut herself off immediately. Entering the piano room, she began to create her graduation work intoxicated. Do. The creation went very smoothly because by Hong Shu F felt that she. It is depicting the beautiful scars engraved on one's soul. Wait for her to write. Write out the stave of the last melody, and on the first page of the score with Mad. When I wrote the title of Gada Meilin Symphonic Poem with Chaotic Brush Strokes, it was all ready. It was the evening of the second day. 1965 Spring Festival, a concert at the Central University for Nationalities. Above, by Hong Shiyue's God Amelin Symphonic Poem was performed by the college's band. Once performed in public, a sensational effect was achieved. Then, by Hong Shiyue was sitting behind the band on the stage, and she saw that the The eyes of the old professors in the first few rows are like sensitive teenagers. Tears flickered like a human being. After coming to mainland China, it was the first time she saw such eyes, such tears. There is poetry in those eyes, there is a soul in the tears. After the concert, several professors jointly presented a national music award. The jury recommends Gada Merlin's symphonic poems, recordings of symphonic poems. Cassettes and turntables also went on sale. However, only two. In January, an official of the political department of the Communist Party in the Academy, Informed by Hong Shiwe with a cold tone that her God Merlin symphony. Poetry was banned from playing, and no reason was explained to her. Depend on. Not long after, word came out privately that God Merlin's symphony banned because cultural censorship authorities think. This work has an obvious tendency to promote Mongolian national separatism. Towards. However, all this did not affect by Hong Shiwe's emotions much. Less impact. She doesn't seem to care much about the worldly fate of her music. Transport. After the God Amelin symphonic poem was completed, by Hong Shiwe's heart changed. It is very quiet, although the quiet is a little desolate, just like the wilderness. A deserted path winded its way toward the purple sunset on the plain. At the beginning of June this year, A.M.U. Guling and Bai Hong Shiwe held a. Before the graduation ceremony, boarded the road leading to Hoheo, the capital of Inner Mongolia. City train. They are going to finish the ceremony at a Mudguling's home. After the wedding, they returned to Shaman in the south to settle down. After the train crossed the Yinchan Mountains, it began to follow the. At the southern foot of the Yinchan Mountains, gallop westward. By home she will lay in the car for a long time. By the window, eager to see the boundless grass waves, see the thunderstorm clouds. Herds of horses surged across the wilderness. However, appearing in her field of vision. But only barren farmland and. There are villages made up of dilapidated adobe houses. This is the same as in North China. There is no difference in the rural scenery in other Han areas in Fong Fong. By Hong Shiwe finally looked away in disappointment, pained and confused. Looking at a Mugguling. However, Bai Hong Shiwe soon seemed to avoid. As if something bored her, she avoided A.M. Ugolin's eyes. I. She suddenly felt that the melancholy in A.M. Ugolin's eyes was like a stone. Just as heavy, but without the hardness of a rock. At this time, she heard. When A.M. Ugoling said in a low and gloomy voice, the grasslands here have been. Han immigrants have destroyed land reclamation, and now, only in the farther north. On the other side, the grassland can only be found behind the Inchon Mountains. 
on the north side of the train, on the steep ridge of the blue-black Inchon Mountains. The rocks that were cracked by the strong wind made the gray blue sky barren. Pretty. By home she well walked to the window on the right side of the carriage, feeling attached and mournful, staring sadly at the majestic mountains of the Inchon Mountains. That reflected in her clear. The rocky peaks in the eyes are carved in a desolate and gorgeous. A cracked will in love. In the afternoon of the second day, the train stopped at the platform of Hohot. Superior. After walking out of the station, by home she went, suddenly felt a pain in her heart. Chu. The city presented in front of her, under the plateau and blue sky. Although it seems quiet and clean, the style of those buildings. But it is very similar to other northern Chinese cities she has been to. She is difficult. I couldn't help shouting in despair in my heart, oh, that legend. In China, the Mongolian people who are good at singing and dancing, gorgeously dressed, and addicted to alcohol are in the... Where? The one who came to pick them up at the station was Amudulin's younger sister, Sessi. Any. On the square in front of the station, Cessna solemnly asked by Hong Shui. After staring for a moment, the first sentence posed a question that embarrassed her. Question, why do you have to take a muddling to the south to determine to? Live? At that time, Bai Hong Shiwe originally wanted to say, it's not me, but him. To go south. But for some reason, she only indifferently. Say, I don't think it's any different here than in the south, what? Everywhere is the same. Today is the second day that Bai Hong Shiwe came to Ho at noon, without consulting by Hong Shiwei in advance, Cessna announced, Boo wants to take them to the suburbs and ask A.M. Yugalin to draw a picture of her running for her. Ma Feng's oil painting. This makes by Hong Shiwei very unhappy too much like. Ordered. At this moment, by Hong Shiwei stood blankly by the side of the Zhao Temple. Among the ruins, facing the smudged pagoda, I feel empty. False, gloomy sorrow. She felt as if she had come there. The end of a girlhood dream, only to find ruined. And withered poetry. Like a beautiful red fox, Cessna swiftly crossed the Zhao Temple. The gap in the broken wall jumped in, and then, she quickly walked through the courtyard. The blue-gray wormwood bushes ran to by Hong Shiwe's side. Cessna. A bouquet of blue morning glory and lavender wildflowers with delicate petals is handed. By Hong Shiwe said very annoyed, I only picked such a piece of meat in one afternoon. A small handful of flowers. Now, only in the north of the Inchon Mountains, can you see. To the real sea of flowers. By Hong Shiwe took the bouquet, slightly lowered her pale face. Allow. She smelled faint, but with the smell of the remote wilderness. Toned fragrance. Could it be that the dream only left this faint fragrance? By home she would have thought sadly. At this time, she heard Seth. Nas' enthusiastic voice, after your wedding, I will accompany you too. Go to the grassland in the north of the mountain, go to the Ergun River, where the wild. There are so many flowers in every color, you might just fall in love with the grass. It turns out that if you don't go to the south, every summer I will. Accompany you to the grassland to pick flowers. By home she wear raised her face from the bouquet of wildflowers and looked at Cessna. Glance. She was caught by the clarity in Cessna's dark eyes. Moved by her sincerity, she tried hard to make the softness appear on her lips. With a smile, he said softly, Yes, I will fall in love with the grassland. The slope extending from the Inchon Mountains in the northern suburbs of Ho Above is covered with broken rocks, little farmland, small patches. Small patches of sparse birch forests and clumps of long-stemmed wormwood in the absence of ash. Swaying in the wind of dust. Cessna accompanied by Hong Shiwe to the ruins of Zhao Temple. A birch grove. The whole afternoon, A.M. Yugalin was in the tree. Lin side paints. In the wind blowing from the misty mountain pass in the deep blue evening, hidden. A rough and desolate man's singing voice faintly floated, lost and chasing the wind. My steed, look for it in the grass on the horizon, 
The Lost. Flowery love, you can find it in a girl's heart. I miss you, noble Mongolian soul, where shall I find? Find. There is a distant sadness in the melody of that song, however. The aggressive chorus of the men gave the melancholy melody a condensed. The heavy and deep masculinity is like becoming deep in the sunset. The red Ainshan mountains are steep and undulating peaks. The evening glow is like the setting sun, the blood gushing from the broken heart. Ah! By whom she hath suddenly thought this way. For some reason, she felt. The pale sadness in the heart also turned into a wild scarlet. Cessna quickly recognized that it was the polo team of Inner Mongolia University. The singing of the team members. She also knew that, to avoid the attention of the authorities. This afternoon, Gera led the polo team to practice sabers in the valley. Chopping technique. If it wasn't for an outing with my brother and future sister-in-law, this. Sometimes she will be with the polo players. A troop of riders gallops out of a valley, suddenly clear horses. The sound of hooves seem to stir the still wind. Cessna widens. Eyes staring eagerly at the team of riders. When seeing a wearing. When she saw the figure in the pale yellow Mongolian robe, she let out a wafting sound. A rotten wild long cry, GRA. Perhaps because of being a composer, by Hong Shiwa's voice. Very sensitive to sound. She found that in Cessna's call there was a kind of. Deep melancholy, there's a light blue wind from the purple peaks. The rhythm of passing. Then, by home she was, saw a rider approaching her. They came galloping, and the light yellow robes of the riders danced wildly, like a golden whirlwind. Cessna's dark eyes swayed with a seductive and charming look. Kai, watching Jellov galloping towards him. However, Gera is getting closer. Recently, Cessna's expression gradually became serious and proud. She seemed to be trying to hide her excitement with a proud look. Prancing horseshoes knock out clusters of crystals on broken rocks. Land sparks, Jellal's posture on the horseback looks fierce and powerful. Sheik, with his legs tightly clamped on the horse's belly, rushed straight to Cessna. Come. Already that close, Gara still utters a wild sound. Vigorous whistling, driving galloping horses, as if deliberately. Cena was knocked down. Cessna stood there quietly without dodging. Hey, it's just that his complexion has become a little paler. At the head of the horse to touch. At the moment of Cessna's chest, Gera's body suddenly fell back. He tightened the rein on one side fiercely. The galloping horse's forehoofs are immediately in the air. He flew up in the air and let out a long, shrill hiss and his thick nose. Pieces of white foam spewed out from the hole and the corners of the lips that were cut by the chewing iron, like crazy. Snowflakes blowing in the wind. The fierce horse roared and circled violently in place, while the dark red. The black fiery eyes still stared into the distance in the sky. G.R.A. Constantly twisting the tough waist on the circling horse to make yourself. His eyes could always look at Cessna sternly, but he closed them tightly. With thin lips, he didn't say anything. Cessna's red lips trembled gorgeously, as if. She seemed about to say a passionate word, but in reality she. He only hurriedly said in a soft voice, A.M.U. Galen is back, he is in the tree. Forest over there. Hearing Cessna's words, Gera immediately kicked the horse with the heels of her boots. Belly, drive the horse to gallop to the birch forest next to it. However, in the tree. At the edge of the forest, he reined in the horse again and shouted coldly to Cessna. Question, is he going to the south with that Han woman? Yes. Cessna replied almost silently. Don't know. Is it because Amuguling is going to the south, or is it because Jella is cold? With Bing's attitude, light blue tears suddenly flickered in her eyes. Just now, when Jella galloped towards them, Bai Hong Shue was on the spot, in a state of unspeakable excitement. The pale blue of Grana dancing wildly in the wind. The colorful robes poured into her soul like a barren Sunday exist. 
She saw the first moment of Gera's eyes, by whom she were almost. You can't help shouting out, that's him, the man in the dream. The eyes of the two leopards. However, when she found that Gera's gaze was only. His indifference, even disgust, as it passes her by, she. And sadly thought, no, that's not, although the resemblance. But no. Because, although Gera's eyes are the same as her girl's dream. The eyes of the golden leopard crouching on the setting sun in the environment are as sharp. A cold flame as bright as bronze, but the male leopard. But his eyes stared at her affectionately, the hard, sharp eyes. The eyes of the beast were carved in the bottom of her heart, the deepest part of her life. Beautiful scars. And Gera looked at her so indifferently. As if looking at an unclean shadow with disgust. A.M.U. Galen sat in the sparse wormwood bushes beside the birch forest. With a high-grade cigar sandwiched between his fingers, it took him a long time to take a sip. Tamo. Looking at the silver-white ice top of Benma Peak silently, it seems to be watching a melancholy. A distant beauty withered in a desolate time. In front of him. An easel, the oil painting of Benma Peak has already been painted, but the painting... After he finished, he never looked at the canvas again. He dare not look, because... Because he felt what he had drawn was only a cold stone. Instead of the silver crown like Galloping Horse Peak, he can no longer draw galloping horses. Ma Feng's precipitous charm is gone. A sudden sound of hooves attracted A.M. Ugolin's attention. Then he saw the figure of Gera on horseback coming from behind the birch forest. Face appeared. A.M.U. Galen stood up excitedly, opened his arms. He strode towards Gera. Jella is one of Amudulin's closest friends in his hometown. On the first summer vacation after A.M.U. Guling went to middle school, he followed the inspector. The father of the defense force had been to the grassland by the Ergun River, where he became acquainted with Gera. Since then, every holiday, no matter the summer, during vacation or winter vacation, A.M.U. Galen would go to visit Gera. They are. It is sitting in the sage bushes with red ears sitting on the cliff of the Ergun River. After drinking wildly, after being intoxicated, singing a desolate song to the setting sun, or. It is to chase black wolves and yellow sheep with horses on the snow field without using shotguns, but. It is hunting with a Mongolian saber. In this way, throughout middle school. They spent many unforgettable moments together. However, at this moment, A.M.U. Galen walked a few steps toward Jella. Then, he stopped suddenly, threw away the snow shovel between his fingers, and put his hands together. Deep into the trouser pocket, trying to wipe off the face with a cold expression. Of excitement. Are you leaving Inner Mongolia? Jella jumped off his horse and stood from a distance, asked coldly. Yes, it's nothing. A.M.U. Galen seemed to, said casually. However, he felt very unpleasantly in the, under the gaze of Jela's haughty and hard eyes, he couldn't help but, there was a sense of shame. Jela stared at Amudyling sternly, his eyes gradually flickered. A sharp, contemptuous cold light flashed. Suddenly, Gera exposed like a wolf. With snow-white teeth, he said in a cold tone, You have changed, you have become ugly. No, your eyes are no longer masculine. You only. There's one thing to do to mate with that Han woman, and then. Give birth to a bastard. After finishing speaking, Gera jumped on the horseback and did not return. Gu Di left. A.M.U. Galen felt that he should fight back against Gera's insult. However, he just lowered his arms and stood there blankly, expressing. She stared blankly at Gera's figure disappearing into the twilight. At this, in the posture, his burly body appears very awkward. When Jella said the insulting words to Amudulin, Bai Hongshue and Cessna just walked out of the birch forest. Listen from a distance. Upon hearing Gera's cold voice, Bai Hongshue's face immediately turned into a cruel pale as snow. However, she was not angry at being insulted. 
I was angry but felt a chill and piercing pain. A.M.U. Galen turned around bluntly and returned to the easel. He. With a dull and dry voice, he asked by Hong Shue, who was walking beside him, drawing. How are you doing? Bai Hongshue looked at the canvas sadly, frowning slightly. Head, and it took a while before picking out words, uninterestedly. Said, fortunately, the color is more moving, but... No, the painting is not good. A.M.U. Guling interrupted the white. Hongshue's words, I can't find the inspiration for Ben Ma Peak. Up. After finishing speaking, he picked up the brush, dipped it in black oil paint, and painted it on the... I daubed heavily in the middle of the canvas a few times, and it took me an entire afternoon to finish. The finished painting is ruined. At this moment, the expression on his face was very horrible, as if a man with a cruel sneer was killing himself. Father of his deformed child.